So this is the weekend packed with Christmas parades, visits with Santa and his elves. There, it is the busy season. It is, and a lot of people braved the cold last night for the parades in the village of Barbersville mm -hmm. and in downtown Portsmouth. So to get you set for this weekend's parades and all the activities, Tony shares the sights and sounds of Huntington's Christmas parade from Tuesday night. A festive Tuesday night in downtown Huntington, Christmas cheer resounding through the business district on a cold winter's night. So they huddled up to combat the cold as they savored in the 65 youth, church, and civic floats that came out of warm hibernation. But we're having a good time. In from Charleston, the Benny Keenum Highlander Bagpipe and Drum Corps. Representing OU, the marching Bobcat Twirler. Best vantage point for the parade? Easily the Herd Cafe. Marshall Cafe, you can see everything from our heated patio. Heated patio? Yeah. With the deepening chill, our friends from the Redemption Church made sure all stayed warm and cozy. We provide the parade with some hot chocolate, and uh, sometimes we provide cookies like we did this year. That hot chocolate tonight! Delicious! For the music of the season, local high school bands gave the parade a sentimental flair. Joining in the fun, a host of comic book characters and super mascots, and WSAZ's own elves, nice. Hannah Hayes and Nicholas Snyder. Then the pressing question of the night. Been good or bad boys and girls this year? Good! Good! Really, really good. <laughs> really, really bad. Finally, the moment they all waited for, straight from the North Pole, Santa was in town and in a very good mood. I can't hear you! Enjoying the sights and sounds of the Huntington Christmas Parade, Tony Cavalier, WSAZ News Channel 3 reporting. Now, we have to take a second because we love to share stories with you all at home and let you in on some of the little inside stuff. Yeah. And th this is funny. Susan was in the car, too. <laughs> but you said the child locks were on the, the car. The child seat. locks were on. Nicholas was driving. Was Hannah in was back. in the front seat. When I finally found them, because I was running along through or walking, uh, trying to find Tony and our crew. When I finally got in the car, I wanted to put the window down to wave to people, and the child locks were on. But those parades can get a little chaotic, especially they when you can. get lost and you, like and some of us cold. get separated. And when, they start our, when they start their parades during our newscast, yes. you know, for yes. example, Nicholas was in Portsmouth right. last night. It's hard for our people to get in position. <laughs> yeah, Susan, I was looking for everybody. Susan posted the video on on her Instagram page. It's worth a watch. Go on, go on and watch it. Um, we really enjoy doing these. We do. And they Tony, I know you've got a couple more that you're going to be stopping at tomorrow. I'll be on the India Mountain South Charleston with the Hometown Hero oh, presentation nice. before the parade starts. Mm -hmm. And then it's down to Old Mark or to uh, Old Main Plaza where we've got the St. Albans Parade. And okay. that one is going to be sentimental for me because over, so? the, over the years, Hayes and McKinley, they are, we'll call them warring factions, but they, uh -huh. they, they're basically rivals. Mm -hmm. And yeah. their bands have always marched as one. Yes. Now consolidation coming on. So next year at this time, I suspect, they will be one. <gasps> but basically the Hayes and McKinley Middle great. Schools will be marching for the last time under their own banner, <sighs> but together. Mm -hmm. So I think that'll be a Aww. sentimental time. That really will. That's yeah. going to be great to see. And these are all so fun. I know that um, last night in the village of Barbersville, they had hot chocolate and warming stations, and a lot of them are kind of adapting to help everybody because everybody loves a parade. And, and to there's come no out question to that the parade attendance in Huntington was down because of the cold. So in this case, heading to the weekend, the weather's much more tame. Oh, that's great. Yep. And we've got a lot more coming up, too, in coming weeks because I know um, just Charleston, for instance, yep. decided to push theirs back just because of the weather. But we've got a full list there for you on mm -hmm. the screen of all those parades that are going to be going on. And uh, 
Again, make sure to head over to Susan's page. That's it's a pretty comical video. <laughs> it's it's an interesting, interesting it. parade night for me. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, great Tony, to see you. great story. Love to see all the highlights from the big parade. Can't wait to see your stories coming up. Yeah.